Hey everybody, Jason Moser here with Brendan Matthews for another Ask a Fool. Uh, today we are taking a question uh, from Packin' Fish. And Packin' Fish asks, I'm in the process of starting to buy my first stocks. Can you please explain the rationale behind the advice of buying a share of an index fund for every dollar invested in stocks? And Brendan, you know, I, we, we talk a lot about diversity here, and that sounds kind of like a question that's angled towards diversity. Uh, what, what's your take on the question there? Right. So, so this advice comes from our uh, 13 Steps to Investing Foolishly, and it's really aimed at new investors who are just starting to invest. And the reason that we give that advice is we want, we want them to sort of diversify their portfolio instantly. Yeah. So if you only have one or two stocks, there's a good chance that something could happen to those stocks and you could take a massive loss. If you've diversified by, by also owning some index funds, it decreases the chances of that happening. And ultimately, what we want to do is we want to make sure that people don't have a sort of a big loss earlier in their investing career that prohibits them from, in, from becoming investors and being invested in the market over the long term. But what, what do you think, Jason? Well, I think that makes a lot of sense. You know, and I, I was thinking about this as I was uh, helping get my daughter started investing. And no matter what, when you start, if you buy just one stock, well, that stock makes up 100% of your portfolio. Right. And that's a lot of exposure to one company, so you better pick a good one. Uh, but I think your point is spot on there. I mean, no matter what, there are no guarantees in life, no guarantees in investing. Um, and, and, you know, a public company, something can happen, you never know, um, that, that could you know, impair that capital pretty much indefinitely. So, I mean, I think having that diversity is a very smart way to go. Mm -hmm. and, and what we recommend is when we say a, a good index fund, that would be a low cost, uh, broad market fund, something from Vanguard yeah. um, would be appropriate. All right. Well, great. Thanks a lot, Brendan. For more information, make sure to check out fool.com.